This is News Channel 5 at 10. Your news and information leader. If you're on the internet, you are not alone. The World Wide Web can bring the world to your computer screen, but it can also let the world watch you. Emerging internet technologies have allowed us to peek in on homes, offices, cities, and places all over the world. And as News Channel 5 Steve Irvin tells us in tonight's Voyeur Nation, the internet can also let your boss peek in on you. Mike Haynes is Big Brother. Big Brother is not what we're about. It's his official company title in an unusual company. We certainly wouldn't use that title if we couldn't laugh about it. Haynes heads up Nashville-based iZoom.com. Our market is worldwide, anywhere where there are video cameras. A company which specializes in putting security cameras on the web. Looking downtown at the skyline. Its customers are people you might call your boss. It's looking down towards the Nashville arena. If your boss wants to install cameras in the workplace, iZoom will let them pull up the images live on the internet. So anywhere that you have internet access, whether it be on a laptop, sitting in an airport, from home, or from your neighbor's house, as long as you can get on to uh, the internet, you can get on to your secure site. Haynes calls it a management tool. If they're being used for management purposes and even for training purposes later, then, then employees seem to be okay with that. It's like having my own TV show. Amy Clough is one of the first people anywhere to experience what it's like to be at work and be on camera on the web. It doesn't bother me at all. I have no fear. Yeah. Other people do. Other people come in and they're like, ooh, am I on? We all could be sooner or later. The technology is progressing so quickly, it's showing up everywhere. Oh, yeah, it's time for a nap. Already, a handful of daycare centers in Middle Tennessee have installed cameras that parents can watch on the web. Parents just enjoy the fact that they're able to click on, a, make a couple of keystrokes through their internet web browser and check on their kids. At first, it was a little intimidating. For a lot of folks, life on webcam is the ultimate reality TV. People from all over the world were all of a sudden looking into my office, and that was a lot of fun. Michael Wilson designs websites with Mad Dancer Media. What started out as a novelty has actually ended up generating some business for us because a lot of clients have gone to our website and seen the webcam. They said, hey, how can we do that? Just see if we could, I think was the, the original motivation. For the guys at GLW in Brentwood, a webcam was just a technological challenge in 1996. Four years later, the camera is hardly noticed, and what seemed like a fad has blossomed. Like having them in your house, if you're away from your house, you just go to your little web page and check on things. In that area, I think it'll get more popular. Already, you can watch people, places, animals, anything on the web. And soon, cameras could be as common as computers, leaving us all with a computer screen as a window to the world. And you know, almost anybody can install a webcam in almost anywhere. The simplest webcams can cost $100 or so, including the software you need to upload images, any images, onto the web, Chris. It's amazing. With technology like this, we could all have a home security system. A pretty good one, too. Yeah, we could. In fact, that's very possible. Imagine being able to access cameras in your home from work just to check on things. It is possible, and it could even be commonplace in the future. The key is the technology and just affordability. Wow. It's getting a lot cheaper. It is. Thanks, Steve. Amy?